I'm used to doing roundovers all the time, so on this I decided to do a 45 degree edge all the way around the air cleaner box. I do a lot of edge forming on speaker cabinets with this router, so this is one big reason I'm even making this air cleaner box. It gets super dusty from this. Makes a huge mess. I didn't get a whole lot of the painting process because I didn't want my camera lens getting all fogged up and covered with overspray. But I did paint it red. I got a little mad and I did a little black in there because I thought the red all by itself looked cheesy. And I did some clear coat and I polished it. As you can see here, I was polishing away. If you get enough clear coat on there, you can use rubbing compound. It'll give you a mirror finish. So I'm installing the blower. It's a very tight fit because my hole ended up being a little lower than I thought, so I had to really jam it in there. Then I put a mounting plate on top where it's gonna hang from the ceiling. So here it is, my highly effective air cleaner, dust collector, air filtration system for under 100 bucks. I had a couple buddies help me lift it up when I popped a couple screws and did not have a long enough extension to get up on that side right there. So I cut off a three foot long screwdriver to make the longest and sweetest extension ever. Look at that. It's a glorious thing. <laughs> Check this out. <laughs> yeah, buddy. That's an extension right there. I'm it. Yeah. Next up, I've got to wire a switch on here real quick. Ain't no big deal. If you ain't got a pair of these here handy clippers, better get yourself some. So this is like a handy jack thing at, at the big box store, the big orange one, you know what I'm talking about. Pretty cool, it's real cheap, like three, four bucks I spent on the jack and the switch and soldered some wires. I'm still using my three foot extension on the screwdriver bit drill. It's amazing. I'm gonna use it for everything now. Why would I not? Yeah, baby. It's not really loud, honestly. Like a shop back is way louder than this. It has like a lower tone. It just makes a nice big air moving sound. I had to switch back my regular bit for that. Man, this air cleaner is so cool. I'll probably never make anything else that I use on a daily basis like this. So I've been using this air filter in here for about a week now and it works amazing. It cycles the air in this room about every 15 seconds. It's an 800 CFM blower. It's a small room. It would work in a much bigger space, twice, maybe even three times its size. It would obviously take longer to clean it, but it works amazing. And the first thing I was really happy to find out is that these filters end up being pretty much reusable. So you can just take this outside and blow it off with your ear hose and it's uh, like a new filter. Just put it back in. So it does get clogged. Like this one's very clogged up. This one's used. Um, I did upgrade the filter. This is a 3M micro particle reduction. This is an $8 filter. And this is great. I mean, honestly, if it runs, if it's completely dusty in here, if I'm sanding it, sanding like crazy. Uh, it'll clean the air in about a minute. It'll be coming here and take a breath. It's all fresh, probably cooking here or something. It's so clean, but it's pretty amazing. It works excellent. I couldn't, couldn't ask for anything better, really. Um, and it's not like a dust collector either, because see, the dust collectors work good, but they, the the bags on the dust collector don't really filter the really fine dust. So you got you end up with your air still making you sneeze and stuff. This cleans it. That's a cheaper cheaper filter. It still works okay. It doesn't work as good as the 3M, but I mean, it gets all the fine dust. It works amazing. So I would highly recommend to build one of these.
If you enjoyed this video and want to see more like it, subscribe to this channel below.